Welcome to Halloween DIY presented by Cemetery Creations. Today, I'm going to show you how I made a burnt skull prop for my Halloween display. Let's get started. Let's see what you'll need for supplies. A plastic skull. Cotton balls. Paper towels. Liquid latex. Rubber gloves. Two one-inch chip brushes. Black red and brown acrylic paint and something to put your paint in and some sort of base. I used an almost empty roll of duct tape for my base. First, figure out how you want your skull to look. I did this before with the mouth open. Today I will be doing it with the jaw dislocated. It doesn't matter how you want your skull to look, it all works. If need be, super glue the sides of the jaw and wait about 30 minutes. I took the screw out of the right side of the jaw and moved the jaw bone back and let it rest on the side of the skull. Now take your cotton balls and unwrap them. Sometimes it takes a minute, so be patient. I unwrapped about 18 to start. You might need more or less but 18 seemed like a good amount. Next, put your rubber gloves on and open your latex. Feel free to put some latex in a bowl or a cup, or just dip your brush in the bottle if you have enough. Now paint some latex onto the skull itself. You'll want to start with the top, because that will help with the drying process. Once you have a good amount, place some cotton on the latex. The latex acts like a glue. Now paint the latex onto the cotton itself. Repeat this step until the entire skull is covered. Try and use some basic anatomy. The top of the skull doesn't have a lot of flesh while the cheeks have more meat. So make sure to build up the latex and cotton in some places. If parts of the skull still show once you're done, that's okay. Either cover them up or leave them be. Now for the not so fun part. This will need to dry overnight. Place the skull upside down on your base. That part should be pretty dry by now, so putting it on the base won't ruin it. Now you'll see that the skull is all dried and hard. The yellowish tint is a great indicator that the latex is dry. It should kind of look like chicken fat. Some parts of the cotton may not have been coated with latex. You may choose to go back and touch it up with the latex, but it's not necessary. But if you choose to touch it up, remember you'll have to wait to paint and make sure that it's dry. You'll see that I took some cotton and latex and connected the cheek to the jaw created a melted flesh look. You can do any sort of variation that you would like with your skull. It's up to you to make it look how gruesome or as somewhat normal as you like. Take your brown paint and put some in a container. I'm using the top of a Pringles can. Now add some water to the paint. The paint is going to be nothing more than a wash, so we will be wiping it away once we apply it. Take your brush and dip it in the watered down paint and paint a part of the skull. I suggest doing the back, that way if you didn't add enough water or you added too much, you can fix it. Once you have applied to a good section, Take a paper towel and wipe the paint away. It will stain the latex and cotton and seep into some of the cracks. Do this to the entire skull. And make sure to try and keep the teeth clean. Now you will do the same step but with the red paint. This you can experiment with because you can add the red paint to smaller sections or all over the skull. I happen to do the whole skull. 
Last step, get your brush loaded with black paint. Now wipe your brush on a paper towel. Sure, it may seem like a waste, but it does help. Once your brush isn't dripping with black paint, lightly brush the black on your skull. Some places you may want more black, but don't overdo it. You're going to want some parts to look not so charred, and other parts looking really burnt. I also happen to paint the eye sockets to make sure they are really black. Once you're done, your burnt skull should look like a piece of cooked meat. Think of ribs or a good steak. I hope you're happy with the end result of how your skull looks. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comment section below and we will answer your question as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this episode of Halloween DIY and remember, stay creepy.